So this video is going to be about uh, the uncivilized health and wellness portion of the uncivilized vitality program. Uh, explain a little bit more of an overview. So there's a uh, collection of guidelines that we've taken from the uh, some of the lifestyle practices of pre-civilized hunter-gatherers. And uh, I'll make a definition of the term civilization in another video, but just think about it about eight to 12,000 years ago before the advent um, of uh, the adoption of agriculture as kind of the mainstay uh, to go along with the cities. But before that, hunter-gatherers lived in small bands, sometimes large bands. Um, their political structures were, were, were um, quite varied. They weren't just egalitarian small bands. Some of them had um, different structures, but a different video. So the health and wellness portion is based on some of the, the lifestyle practices they did. And there's a, um, a short overview, kind of what we're doing here in your student handbook. Um, but this will be, these video series will be, uh, um, uh, expand on what's coming out in my uh, mass market book and just the health and wellness part. The other two parts of Uncivilized Vitality Program, the uh, philosophical tenets, uh, that may or may not ever make it to a book or booklet form, uh, probably just these videos. And then the field craft stuff, we have tons of videos about that. Your knots and tool use and uh, shelter building and getting back out into nature safely and in an, and in an environmentally friendly environmentally friendly way so that you can get out there and enjoy uh, the nature part. This would be your health and wellness portion. So uh, of those lifestyle practices of the hunter-gatherers, we've I've chosen five kind of main areas. <clears throat> we have um, movement advice. I have advice in nourishment, restoration, hygienic practices, and what hygiene is. And then uh, the big one, right, community. <clears throat> we take these five areas, and each of those has three uh, steps, right, three steps. Uh, we call them decivilizing step. You can think of them as um, uh, three steps each. You can think of them in the, um, the world of uh, psychology and habit building as uh, action steps. So these are three things you can do and implement right away to start improving your movement, uh, restoration, your, your community relations, and this will help overall support your health and wellness. So under movement, um, you're going to realize that uh, learning to move properly is vital. So learning to move like a human. We use the MoveNAT system of natural movement instruction, natural movement training, uh, to kind of get that idea across. And there's a tons of videos, uh, be tons of videos on uh, MoveNAT um, methodology in particular. But our advice is learning to move properly is vital. Uh, the second bit of advice under movement is you're going to want to move or play on purpose. So this means uh, taking a mindful approach to your, your um, movement habits and play habits. Uh, we're going to try to avoid saying exercise. And then the third portion uh, bit of advice, the third um, action step, or sometimes we say decivilizing steps, under movement will be make friends with the ground. Okay, we're going to talk a lot of um, <clears throat> primary floor work and groundwork, uh, sometimes just as simple as sitting. We're going to recommend when we break that down a little more, for instance, that you spend at least an hour a day uh, sitting <clears throat> unsupported on the floor. You can do that at 60 minutes, uh, two 30 minute sessions. You know, you can break it up into five 12 minute sessions, 12 five minute sessions, whatever you need to do to get at minimum an hour of um, floor time. So <clears throat> you're going to do, uh, the first one is vital, second one is on purpose, and then there's a third. And each of these will follow the same pattern. Learning to move properly is vital, rest and move on purpose, and then make friends with the ground. Moving on to nourishment, uh, the first one is eating real food is vital. So we'll go into defining what food is, what food is not, <clears throat> the difference between uh, food and food products. Uh, the second one is to eat on purpose. So you're going to purposely and mindfully plan out the intake of your nutrients um, in order to have a healthy, nourishing, well-balanced diet. And the third one is occasionally don't eat. So we're going to talk a lot about intermittent fasting, and that's a, a, a big portion of the Uncivilized Vitality uh, program. <clears throat> Restoration. Okay? Uh, daily quiet time is vital. So the, again, we're going to recommend at least an hour um, of quiet time, where you're not distracted. And this isn't just sitting by yourself thumbing through Facebook uh, or even, to my chagrin, reading a book. It's just 
daydreaming, basically, or meditating, so an hour spent in prayer, or just relaxing. You're not necessarily sleeping, but you need at least an hour of daily quiet time a day. That's vital. The second step is to rest or sleep on purpose. So again, mindful um, action step where you're going to plan out your rest, plan out your sleep. <clears throat> this can be um, your sleep hygiene at night every day. It could be your um, little power naps you take. And it goes all the way up to planning out your vacations and time away from work uh, and socializing so you can plan that out. The third step under restoration is to um, de-stress uh, we say practice minimalism. So you're going to want to de-stress to, to uh, or declutter to de-stress. So practicing minimalism is going to help you kind of restore uh, your, your um, uh, reduce the stress in your environment. A lot of times we just have too much stuff, so that'll be the subject of that third under restoration is to practice minimalism and declutter to de-stress. <clears throat> we get down to hygiene. The first one is going to be Daily weather and sun exposure is vital. So sticking with the theme, 60 minutes a day, uh, minimum of outside time. And this means all year round. Uh, deep January in northern Michigan is pretty cold sometimes. Sometimes it only gets down to about 10, uh, which is not quite cold, but it's chilly. Um, <clears throat> raining, uh, sunny, hot, at least an hour a day outside, uh, being exposed to the wind, the sun, the different elements. That's vital to your health. Uh, we'll show you different ways to do it. You could, for instance, at this point, you could, uh, I would recommend combining those three hours if you're pressed for time. Sit on the ground outside by yourself for an hour. Then you get all three done at the same time. We'll talk about that in some subsequent videos. But getting daily sun or weather exposure is vital. Uh, the second one <clears throat> for, uh, or the, the second one under hygiene is going to be to clean or um, bathe on purpose. Again, that's the theme of the, the second set uh, for each of these, is to uh, practice good hygienic practices. Don't over clean or over sanitize because then you get uh, it's too much of a good thing. But we'll talk about that in the videos on hygiene and hygienic practices. Uh, the third for hygiene is kind of common sense, but it's uh, prevention uh, beats treatment. So we're going to spend some time learning to uh, get as healthy as possible following the uncivilized uh, vitality, health, and wellness guidelines or um, within that this set there's other little steps you can take to kind of promote your health instead of just waiting till you get sick <clears throat> and then having to treat that. Sorry I keep coughing. I don't know what's going on. So um, the last one is going to be community. The first one is going to be uh, because human beings are social or hyper social animals we relate with each other all the time. We have to interact in these societies uh, and, and communities and cultures and um, the first step there is ritual and stories are important, are vital. Rituals and stories are vital, uh, very important to humans, how we have this sort of, um, uh, everything's a narrative. We have to tell our, we, we interpret our, our experience in the world as, as stories and narratives. The stories we tell ourselves or others kind of define who we are. Uh, the rituals and habits that we have uh, are very important. So ritual and story are vital under community. Uh, understanding that and where you're coming from, what your stories and other stories are can help prevent a lot of misunderstandings. The second one is going to be, uh, again, a mindful step. It's going to be relate on purpose. Okay, we'll talk about that. Uh, the biggest components here are learning critical thinking and clear communication uh, techniques like reflective listening, testing your understanding, um, <clears throat> advice such as you should spend more effort, the majority of your effort, trying not to be offended as opposed to spending effort trying not to offend others. doesn't mean just be a dick all the time. It just means don't go out of your way to worry about everybody's feelings to the point of uh, spend some more energy when somebody says something to try to take that in a good light and not be offended on purpose. The third um, decivilizing step for community is <clears throat> learning to recognize the forest for the trees. And this is kind of a, one of those, uh, what would you say that is, like a, a colloquial phrase for learning to uh, discern patterns from a, a big mass of details. Um, and that's an important skill to have in a community where you're relating and most of our communication is nonverbal, uh, small gestures, moods, um, that kind of thing. So we're going to talk about all that. So to recap, um, generally our health and wellness are these five areas. They each are going to focus on three main action steps, or we say de-civilizing steps. 
The first one will be something that's vital to your health and wellness. The second one will be a mindfulness step, something to do on purpose. And then the third is always something that sometimes needs a little explanation. <clears throat> Learning to move properly is vital. Uh, move on purpose. And then make friends with the ground. Right? Nourishment is real food. Eating only real food is vital. Eat on purpose. And occasionally, don't eat. Restoration is going to uh, advise you that daily quiet time and alone time is vital um, to rest or sleep on purpose. And the third one is going to be practicing minimalism in a lot of different aspects to help you de-stress. Hygiene comes down to daily sun and weather exposure is vital to your health. Uh, you're going to want to clean or bathe on purpose. And you're going to want to prevent rather than uh, cure or treat. Community. Rituals and stories are vital. You're going to want to learn how to relate on purpose, mindfully with each other. And then the third one is learning to recognize the forest for the trees. So that's a quick, sort of quick, overview of the health and wellness program. And now uh, you can check out the other videos in these different playlists. And I'll break those three main steps down into further sub-steps and bits of advice under those headings. So you can kind of keep it straight. And then you can start applying... Uh, two, three of these, one of these, all of them all together to your life and see the small improvements. A bit of advice I give my patients is usually pick one of the steps of one of the areas and focus on that first and then implement little by little until you get them all. All right, so that's the Uncivilized Vitality Health and Wellness Overview. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the rest of the videos. Uh, leave some comments below if you're curious, if you're interested. Get over and check out... Um, some of our social media pages, and maybe even come along on one of our field craft adventures and where we talk about this around the fire. Sometimes it seems more poignant uh, and, and meaningful out there. But uh, thanks and see you next time.